um, so in this video we will create a page to connect to our database so that we will um, be able to uh, record our book details and keep them in the database so for that let's go to the utility folder and inside utility folder I'm going to add a new page so this should be called um, data um, db connection dot php so this page will have um, all the database connection um, codes here so um, let's um, connect to our database so for that we, uh, we will open php tag and close it and um, let's um, create a class call um, DB connection um, and inside it let's um, decrate and de declare um, our um, database fields so server server will be localhost and another thing um, another we will have um, users so username will be root so whatever your database um, username you have you will put it here so another thing is we will have password db password so the password will be empty for now I don't have any password if you have password then you can just um, put it here inside this um, quotation so another thing we will have our um, DB database so our database is um, so DB underscore library library just um, save this and also um, declare a variable called con so we will put it just empty for now and we will have our connection inside the constructor so constructor is uh, nothing but a function that runs every time we create our uh, object for the particular class so we will have one constructor so constructor will be public function constructor so constructor inside constructor we will um, put try catch uh, try and inside try block we will have um, connection um, so let's say um, this connection so this keyword is pointing um, to the global um, variable so this connection should be um, we will use mysqli class mysql and inside mysql we will have we will have um, our server and we will use username and we will have password and we will have um, db so this should give us the database connection so let's save this and let's try um, if the um, if um, the exclamation mark if um, this connection um, is not working um, let's remove this mark from here and we will say um, So if there is uh, any error while connecting to the database then we will throw exception and in 
inside the exception we will say um, error accurate and we will also um, concatenate the um, error so we will um, Mm -hmm. we will say the we will uh, display the error here so else mm, just um, um, echo um, connected to database successfully so let's um, close this let's catch if the um, exception occurs so inside the catch block we will put the exception and define a variable just e and we will um, echo the exception so e exception message so um, we will use get message method and that's it this should work um, let's go to the um, um, our home page and let's try it here so if I um, to try this, we will um, include the database page here. So to include the database page, we will um, use include function. Inside include functions, we will um, say utility folder name, utility folder, and inside the utility folder we have db connection dot php now um, since we have this class here we will create a um, um, object here so new db connection so this should work they should check um, our database connection let's go to the um, browser and let's um, just refresh the page so connection field to open so we haven't um, able to um, our page so let's go back to our um, system and let's check here so we are here now so db connection.php so i think this is the um, because of um, you know we are not able to um, what is the um, get the correct path so we will use um, server variable and we will um, just um, say document root and inside will concatenate with um, the our project name So what this um, root document um, inside the server variable does is that it will give us the root path of our system. So with that, with that we have our system name and our utility folder and DB connection. This should um, do the work for us. Let's go back to the system. Let's refresh this. So again, we are having some um, issue here. So it says uh, library management system utility db connection field open no such file directory. 
So I think this is the utility. So we are um, we were having wrong um, page names. So just utility, and this should work the to the job for us. Let's refresh this. Okay, so I have. Um, Mm. Um, misspelled it. Let's refresh this. So undefined server. Okay. So this is um. This is what we have. So we have forgotten to. Um, prefix it with this keyword so otherwise you want to recognize the variable name let's put it here so as um, you can see we can learn from it from our mistakes so um, it is also printing error message so let's undefine connect error so okay so i have um, so that's why this um this is printing message so this is the uh, and the program is not um running inside if condition so that's why this printing um this error message so let's go here and we have the connected database successfully messages so um let's check if i put some text here if i misspelled my um, username so if i save this and if i go back to the program and if i rerun it so we will have errors access denied for users so this is the exception and the system is also printing us this um error so um, this says we are we are using password and the database doesn't have a uh, password any password so again back to the our credentials and so I will um, just uncomment this I'll just um, error this else block so we don't have to do it um, anyway so if um, the connection has problem and then the um, program is going to print error so just um, be that way so we have um, successfully connected to our database so from the next video uh, we will design our page and thank you for watching and keep watching and keep learning thank you